but down look in the hole, I just uncovered it. Check that out. That is an Look at that, an Indian. And in this sand, it comes out looking beautiful. Check that out. Let's go. All right, we're out here today at a 18, mid 1800s, before the Civil War house. I'm out here with Jason with me and got my buddy Army Man. So we got Army Man and Navy Man. So little rivalry out here today so we're going to see which one can dig the most army or navy is going to win this one uh, today but anyway i'll show you the front of the house in just a minute so uh, we're going to get out here and uh, see what we can get so let's hope we get something good so i'll see you out there in the yard this house was built before the civil war it's been added on to and remodeled it's got uh, two house lots with whales on it in the back it's got a huge front yard i'm going to stay here and uh Army man and Navy man went to the back, and so we're going to split up and see what we can find. So let's get to swinging. I'm going to be hunting with my Equinox this morning, and we're just going to be running on Park 1, and uh, we're going to leave everything in here uh, normal. Uh, we're going to just, uh, let's see what my recovery speed, that's usually all I change. I'm going to go to 4 today, or 5, start out with 5, and, uh, and my sensitivity. We'll bring back down to 22. All right, we're set and ready now to get out there and do a little detecting. So let's get at it. Well, I'm over here on the side of the house. It's behind me and uh, the front of the house is, I'm sorry. And I'm over here on the side and decided to work this little hedge row right down through here going out to the road. Got a 21 to a 27 signal. And uh, usually when you get that kind of signal, it's a bent up piece of trash and I popped it out about six inches deep and I've already cleaned it up and uh, check it out. It's one of those three Mary Widow 50 cent condom cases. Good history there. Look it up online sometime, read about that. All right, let's keep on going. That's still over here on the side of the house. I just dug that three Mary Widows condom right there. Made my way down and back up here. Got a real scratchy 20, 19, 18, 21, signal 20. Dug that up. And I knew that wasn't my target, but down looking the hole, I just uncovered it. Check that out. That is going to be, look at that, an Indian. And in this sand, it comes out looking beautiful. Check that out. That is awesome right there. Let me uh, set it up here and see if we can't get a, let me rub it on my leg and see if we can't get a date on that. Let me come back to you. All right. Looks like it's going to be an 1868 Indian head. That is awesome right there. I'll take those all day long. Now it's an episode, as the Hoover boys would say. Army man doesn't see me filming, so I think he's coming over here to check this out. So let's get some pictures. Let's keep on going. You don't know what that is? I'm out here behind the house. I'm out here in the garden because we saw pottery all through here. Army man's hunting that side. And right inside these woods is an old homestead with a water well, an old well there. So we're kind of working ourselves into that, but I just wanted to show y'all this. Does anybody know what that is? There's the stalk. And there's what it looks like over there. That's this kale. Kale. K-A-L-E, -L -L -E, I think. And there's some cauliflower and some cabbage. And those are some type of greens over there. But i never seen kale growing in the wild here or in the garden. I always eat it in the soup at uh, Toscana Soup at Olive Garden. All right, let's keep on going. Made my way back in the woods. 
they kind of sit back there with a the fire pit but up in here here's the the old well should we look into it see what it looks like yeah should i go get my magnet and drop it in there i think i will you never know what's in these old wells so let's uh let's go get the magnet let's drop it in the well and see what we can get out here at this uh old well it's about 20 feet down to the water level and uh we're gonna see if there's anything in here this is an old property it dates way back and uh, wow there it finally hit pretty deep water it's worth the uh, it's worth the uh the try you never know well, if there's like an old safe in here. It's pretty deep. But it's clean bottom. I can feel the... So far, I don't feel anything on the bottom. At all. Get it right in that corner. That's a wide well too, isn't it? I don't feel anything down there. It's not even hitting anything. That's probably just a good, good old water well. Oh well, we tried. No luck. Maybe better luck next time. Let's keep on swinging. Oh, oh you know. That's a horse stuff, Rosette. Yeah. Like a bridle. Really? Yes, That's sir. off the side of a, a horse's bridle. Yes, sir. I got another one. That is an awesome find right there. And you found that where? Six inches from the house. Six inches from the house. Now Nearly that's a good find. Good on top of the ground? Nearly on top of the they wouldn't have Yeah, that's feet. off of, yeah, you can look at pictures, you know, bring up like a horse uh, bridle, um, like Calvary. It had to have been World War I. It is. Yeah. Because uh, that's awesome. That is a good find right there. All right. Congratulations, man. I can't put it with my other there you go. There you go. Let's get a picture of this and keep on swinging. Well, I tell you, the finds out here at this house are few and far between. We really just haven't found much at all. It must have been detected, which most likely it has been. But anyway, a yard's never hunted out. So we're going to keep swinging, keep listening for the faint signals down deep and uh, see what we come up with. So if I do, I'll show it to you. So if not, then you won't see any of this and i'm back here behind the house i just came from that direction over there and not much out here today but i did get two signals i got a low tone and a high tone there was my low tone and so we'll put that in the pocket and then here's my high tone and is it going to be a uh, wheat penny i'm showing you this coin because we haven't dug many coins i dug a memorial penny and that's it so this is a wheat penny. I think it is. It, it looked like a 1919s. Can you tell? I think it was a 1910 or 1919s. All right, let's take a picture since that's the only thing we got. Let's keep on going. Well, we finished up out here at this uh, house that was built before the Civil War. We are exhausted. It's Army man, Navy man, and I guess Navy man, I guess, kind of won the day. We'll show that to you here in just a second. But we didn't find a lot. At, uh, I think this place has been hit, uh, hit hunted pretty, pretty much, and we didn't even find modern coins. Didn't find hardly anything at all. So, but it's worth looking around and found a few things. It's great talking with the, the homeowner, and we got a tour of his house and everything else. It's really nice man. So let me turn you around. Let me show you what we got. What do you think? I like it. You like it. Of course you do. You got all the good stuff today. Sean, what do you think? I zeroed out. Zero. Sean got zero. That's what that is right there. Zero. Nothing today. Well, here is our trash. This is Jason's trash. That's my trash. And Sean is the trash king. We're going to give him that title, trash king of the day. 
And uh, but here are the finds. It's everybody here. This is Jason's. He got him a spoon, uh, some type of little suspender buckle, maybe for socks, uh, other little tidbit things. Got got him a buckle. No lipstick case, probably from the 40s. Uh, two accordion reeds there. Uh, you clean them off, you actually see the the note. What note is on those? And, and a, a harmonica reed. Got him a bullet. Got him a real nice uh, decorative buckle that's uh, bent. We don't want to open it up. It's going to probably break. A very nice buckle there. That's a de definitely art. De I mean, uh, vintage. Uh, what, what do you call that? Victorian period for sure. Uh, early, late 1800s, early 1900s. I'm going to show you his best find last. Uh, got a, what we say that was, Sean? A 40, 4085. 4085 bullet. It actually is about that long. Uh, we got us a Three Merry Widows. I forgot which one this is. It doesn't have the three women's names on there. So it may be, I don't know if that's the older one or the, uh, the uh, newer one. I got one penny. I got one 1919S. Nice patina on that. Uh, Penny. My best find of the day was this Indian head, 1868 Indian head. Still in great, great shape. That must have been dropped when it was still a new coin. But the find is the Sean's finds right here. So, <laughs> so this is the best find of the day right here. This is a a, a U.S. horse bridle, uh, a bit actually. It's off the bit. Uh, I'll uh, try to post a picture on here as I'm talking, what that looks like on the bit itself. And uh, this was a stagecoach stop right here, and there was a blacksmith on location. He was telling us, and this was, there's one piece broken on the top, and it's like this, and it would go on the horse's uh, bit, just like that. And this is a U.S. Uh, Civil War cavalry period, uh, definitely Civil War period. And uh, that makes sense. It's still in great shape. I wish the tip was on there, the wing, and but man, that is a fine. That is a good relic right there. That's the that's the that's the two best finds of the day right there. And so, well, there's all the trash. Sean, you win. Thank you. Trash. And here's all the treasure. Like you don't always get a lot of stuff, but sometimes you just get a few things. It's really great. But uh, but the greatest things, my friends, is not what you can find out in a house in Civil War period stuff. The greatest things what you can find up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to say happy hunting and God bless.